PML stands for Progressive Multifocal Leukoencephalopathy. It's a rare brain condition, and it's an infection that happens when a very common virus, the JC virus, wakes up and starts damaging the brain's white matter, the brain's wiring. So a quick note, if you want the longer members only explanation of this, plus the monthly Q&A where you can submit your questions, etc., that's on my Patreon, and it helps me keep making these. So the link's in the description. Back to PML, I'm never saying that whole thing again. Here's the important bit. Lots of people carry JC virus and never know it. PML usually only becomes a risk when the immune system is weakened or held back for a long time. So why does MS care about PML? Because a small number of MS treatments change how the immune cells patrol the brain. That can, in rare cases, make it easier for the JC virus to reactivate. The best known example is natalizumab, which is Tysabri or Tyruco. And that's why you'll hear about PML mostly in that context. So why is it monitored? Well, there's two reasons, really. One, early PML can look like an MS relapse. So your teams watch closely for this. And number two, Catching it early matters. It gives clinicians the best chance to act quickly and reduce harm. So how do clinics monitor risk? Typically with a mix of symptom check-ins, MRI scans, and for some drugs, Tysabri for example, blood tests that look for JC virus antibodies. So PML is a serious, but it's also rare. And monitoring exists to keep that risk as low as possible. I don't want you to freak out, I just want you to know about it. So if you want the full deep dive version and the monthly member question and answer session, where you can put your own questions to me, join me on Patreon. Your support directly funds the time and quality behind these videos. But in the meantime, don't freak out about it. Everybody knows about it, it's in hand.